need to get that cocaine in you, like, because cocaine was used back in the day as um, medicine. And so I'm watching the show Ghosts uh, on Paramount Plus. So if you guys um, are watching it, you understand what I'm talking about, the, where the older uh, lady of the group, the, the owner of the home is like, I just want some cocaine. <laughs> So that's where my brain's going. It is time for bed. I'm going to shut the hell up. Thank you for tuning in to Roosevelt Rebel. Um, and did I even uh, say my name in the beginning of this? This is how exhausted I am. Oh, period. Stop. I just remembered what I was going to talk about. This is a serious thing. <laughs> the other night. So, okay. In the 80s and 90s, in this neighborhood, there was gang wars. Like, because uh, all over the United States, there was gang wars. And, you know, and so I'm not, I was just about to go down a whole nother journey. So I'm stopping myself. So this is the way that I talk to my friends. I left messages for my friend and she's like, I, she's like, it's a journey, a whole journey talking to you. She's like, because you start talking about this. Then you start talking about that. I was like, I'm so sorry. Like, this is my brain. Okay, so what happened the other night, I was laying in bed, trying to fucking fall asleep. I got stuck watching a movie called Catch and Release with Jennifer Garner and Kevin Smith. <sighs> fucking good movie, watch it. Um, So, all of a sudden, I heard like, da -da 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 -da. okay, that's a fucking machine gun. And it felt like it was like two miles away. This is how I, my brain works. I'm like... Because I'm so, I have PTSD from my childhood, and my little brother does too. We have PTSD from our childhood, and I think that I've worked with through because he was a lot younger than he's three years younger than me. So I think that he works. He didn't deal with it the way that I dealt with it because I was older. <sighs> so I heard, -ra -ra. I was like, okay, and then all of a sudden I hear, bang, 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 more, which kind of I felt like it was a little bit closer, and so and all of a sudden. A drive-by happens. Like, it was... I was fucking in the 90s again, you guys. So I slide off my bed. I fucking army crawl to the hallway. Open the door. And my sister's all, are you okay? Because my room is the only one... The closest one to the front of the house. And I was like, yes. And so I stand up because we think it's over and done with. And I'm walking to the... We're walking to the kitchen. My mom is, you know, in there. And all of a sudden... Somebody is walking in front of our house, walking westbound, no, walking eastbound down our street in front of our house, shooting. Bang, bang, bang. A motherfucker on foot. Okay, I'm used to this. Why am I saying, like, I'm surprised? Because I just had a flashback of that happening when I was fucking 12 years old, sitting in the front yard, reading a book. So all of a sudden I'm fucking brought back to fucking time of like the 80s and 90s when this shit was happening. So I look at my citizen app. Okay, first off, I was like, made sure everybody was okay and everybody, and I was like, okay, I'm going to bed. Like, I, the trauma of this fucking shit. And then I was like thinking maybe we should just move out of the neighborhood. But this doesn't happen. This hasn't happened in like my mom said three years. Like, it rarely is a thing. It used to happen every fucking weekend when we were kids. And so, and days, every day. Like, it was just ridiculous. So, you know, this happened to us. This happened. And so, I was late to work the next day. I could not fall asleep after that. I was, like, every noise, I was like, fuck. And I didn't even see my brother's text message. Because he texted me and was like, maybe you should sleep in the other room um, tomorrow. And I was like, I don't think they're going to come back this early. Like, that's too close of a time frame. Like, the cops were out. Like, it, I could not fall asleep. The fucking ghetto bird was out. There was sirens everywhere. Like, it was re damn ridiculous. Um, so, the trauma from this shit, you like, the PTSD from the shit. So, I was at the fries on fucking Jackrabbit in Indian school, and a balloon popped, and I almost fucking threw myself on the floor. This shit is traumatic. This shit is traumatizing. Like, growing up in this neighborhood was traumatizing because of the things that happened. Like, the neighbors protected of us, protected us. But the outside, no. Like, there was bullets in our house. People threw fucking beer bottles. Like, it was a, 
really scary growing up. But like, because we were so used to it, we didn't even think that it was anything, you know, it was just normal to us. But now as a fucking adult and being traumatized by this shit, even my little brother's traumatized by it. Like he's like, I hear fucking backfires and I throw myself to the floor. And I was like, that happened to me too. When I was in Indiana or Idaho, one of those States visiting uh, my friend, I've, I heard there was a backfire of a car and I fucking threw myself on the floor and they're like laughing at me. This is like traumatizing and I probably should go to therapy about it, but like, it's not serious, serious. I don't think, I think it's just, <laughs> I'll talk to my fucking therapist friend first about it um, and see what she thinks. Like all of them, I think, and ask them about it because this shit was crazy the other night and Thankfully, we're all okay, and I thank my friend that I messaged and told her about it, and she was like, thank God you guys are okay. If you're listening, thank you for uh, asking if we were all all okay. And, um, yeah. So, anyhow, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go, because I was going to let you go like six minutes ago, but I had to tell you guys about the fucking shooting. It was fucking crazy. All right, I'm going to do my nighttime rituals for before bed, do a little homework. Nah, I'll do homework tomorrow. I'm, I'm ready for bed. I'm going to drink my nightcap, finish off my spiritual night, and you know what? I'll talk to y'all in a couple days. Thank you for tuning in to Roosevelt Rebel. My name is Tizen Rebel Beltran, and I love you, all my listeners all over the world. I appreciate you. I love you. And like, follow, subscribe. Um on all the social media platforms i am on instagram facebook tiktok um search rebel riot llc or tisa beltran t-i-s-a-b-e-l-t-r-a-n o-g underscore t-r beltran thank you i'll talk to you guys soon Bye bye